So the Minecraft 1.19 update was revealed and it's known as the Wild Update. So the Wild themed update has revealed loads of new features such as new mobs, new biomes, new blocks and much much more and I'm going to be talking about them all in this video. So like this video and subscribe if you want to see more 1.19 videos. Anyways, here we go. The first new feature that will be added in the 1.19 update is the addition of a brand new biome that is known as the Deep Dark Biome along with a new structure known as the Deep Dark Cities. Take a look. Okay, these deep dark cities look absolutely amazing. Now, as some of you know, a certain mob is going to spawn in these deep dark cities and that mob is the warden. Take a look. Okay, the warden is looking as scary as ever. This mob is definitely worth the wait, to be honest. Now, just to remind you guys, the warden is completely blind, meaning it cannot see you, obviously, and it can only detect you if you are making movements nearby, but it can also smell you if you are near them as well. The warden is also incredibly strong, as it will do a whopping 15 hearts of damage to the player. The warden is about 3.5 blocks tall, making it one of the tallest mobs in the game, exceeding the Iron Golem and Enderman in height, which is crazy. So yeah, it's definitely going to be so terrifying to encounter a warden in these deep dark cities. It's just such a creepy atmosphere, man. Anyways, moving on. The next feature that is going to be added in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of another new biome, which is known as the Mangrove Swamp Biome. Take a look. So as you can see in this video, walking around, you're just completely surrounded in the mangrove swamp. It's just mangroves as far as the eye can see, just like in real life. And you have all the mangroves propped up on their roots, growing in the water, so you can take your boat underneath like Agnes <laughs> likes. And you're just completely surrounded by the awesome beauty of it. It's so beautiful. Oh, and I mean, during the sunset, every time I was testing, I would actually like pause the day-night cycle just to watch the sunset in the mangrove swamp. It was super beautiful. Okay, this new swamp biome looks absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. And with the new swamp biome comes a new tree. And that tree is, of course, the mangrove tree. Take a look. So as you can see here, this is a propagule. And propagules grow from mangrove trees. They're actually, like, ready to grow uh, mangrove, mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. <laughs> and you can see here, the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. Uh, it has vines hanging down from the leaves. The propagules are actually growing underneath the leaves. They actually grow from the leaves themselves. 
Now it goes without saying that because there is a new mangrove tree, it also means that we're getting a new wood type, which is of course the mangrove planks, which look like this. They kind of look like jungle planks, but I really like the look of them. Next up in the 1.19 wild update, we've got the addition of another new feature, which is the boat with a chest on it. I've been waiting for this for so long, man. Take a look. <laughs> Ah, the day has finally come where I can put a chest in a boat and put all my stuff in it and explore my Minecraft world while travelling at sea. I'm very happy with this feature. The next new feature we've been blessed with in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of another new mob. Now that new mob are, well, frogs. Take a look. <laughs> So there you have it guys, we are finally getting frogs after years of them being planned to be added into the game and I'm so happy about it. So the regular orangey looking frog you just saw in that clip are going to spawn in swamp biomes and the newly added mangrove swamp. Not only did we get the awesome frogs in 1.19 but we also got the mob that frogs start out as when they're born which are tadpoles. Take a look. So there you have it guys, we're also getting tadpoles, and I might be wrong on this one, but I believe tadpoles are going to be spawning in swamp biomes and the mangrove swamp as well. Now these tadpoles can grow up into the regular orangey looking frogs I showed you earlier, but they can also grow up into two other frog variants I'm going to show you right now. First up, we have the snowy frog. Take a look. So for example, if it grows up in a really cold place, it's going to turn into a snowy frog. Yeah, as you can see here, so the frogs have kind of like two main systems. One is the tadpole system and the other one is the cold-blooded system. So the frogs are like the first cold-blooded animal in Minecraft. So you guys heard it there. If a tadpole happens to grow up in a snowy biome environment, then it will grow into a snowy frog looking like this. The third and final frog we have is the tropical frog. Take a look. So let's say you were venturing out into the desert or the jungle and you take your, your tadpole with you. And if it grows up there, it'll turn into a lovely tropical frog. And I, what I really love about the tropical frogs is how just relaxed they look. And they're like blending into the sand almost. They're just so relaxed relaxed just chilling there yeah okay i'm not gonna lie the tropical frogs look like such a vibe man they look so peaceful just chilling in the desert biome i love them already the next sort of mob we're getting in the minecraft 1.19 wild update is the addition of fireflies and they look like this so you can see them roaming around adding a lot of ambience to the swamp making it feel just nice and cozy at night but really my favorite part of them is just making the world come to life, like feeling like there is life going on all around you and... Oh yeah, also their frog food. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Their frog food. Poor fireflies. Yes. Yeah, but look how happy that frog is. So from the gameplay I just saw, it looks like the fireflies are going to spawn in the mangrove swamp once again, and they just look really relaxing to be honest. They're such a nice addition to the game. Oh, and best of all, these glowing fireflies can be eaten by frogs, which looks like this. I mean, come on, the frogs have got to eat something. Don't worry, frog, you enjoy those fireflies, mate. Another new mob is going to be added in the 1.19 wild update, but this mob was part of a mob vote between two other mobs so which mob won the vote so the three mobs that were in competition with each other was the glare which looks like this the copper golem which looks like this and finally the allay which looks like this so the glare was the first mob to be voted out so sadly it will never be added into minecraft rest in peace glare it then came down to the copper golem or the allay so which mob won uh hey Jens. Do you have the results? Yes, I have them right here in my chest. <gasps> wow! Very exciting. You really came in style. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here you go. Thank you so much. That looked really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now it's time to announce the winner. Okay, and the winner is the LA. Wow. Yes, I'm super happy about that. It's, it's a lovely, lovely mob. Well, as you just saw, it was the LA mob. Sorry, Copper Gollum, you will be missed. And the glare, you'll be missed as well. The next feature that's going to be added in the 1.19 Wild update is the addition of some new blocks, which is mud, and it's going to spawn in swamp biomes. Take a look. Yeah, so we're adding really cool renewability mechanics to mud. The first of which is if you take a dirt block and pour a water bottle on it, then you can get more mud. And then the other one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the dripstone, it will sort of like drip the water out of the mud and eventually dry it out, which turns into clay. So mud can either be found in swamps like I mentioned, or you can create it yourself by using a water bottle on a dirt block. As you also saw, you can place mud on top of dripstone to form clay, which means you can now make a renewable clay farm in Minecraft. But best of all, in 1.19, you can craft these newly added mud bricks, which make for quite a nice looking block to be honest. I think a lot of people are going to use them. So mud bricks are really, really exciting like building block. And as you can see here, the, the brick texture is actually different than the other stone bricks that we have in the game. So they're sort of smaller, more compact, but it is really cool like to build with. It matches a lot of different block sets and I, I'm really excited to build with them. Next up in the 1.19 world update, we have all the new skulk blocks, which were originally going to be added in 1.18, but we're getting them instead in 1.19. Now, there is a lot to cover with all the new skull blocks, so I'm just going to play all the footage that talks about it, and they're going to be talking about the skulk block itself, the skulk catalyst, the skulk vein, and the skulk shrieker. Yeah, last year we focused a lot on the skulk sensor, but since then we've kind of been trying to figure out what do all the different blocks in the skulk family do. And one of them actually is something called a Skulk Catalyst. And the main thing about the Skulk Catalyst is it's actually what causes the Skulk to spread. As you can see here, whenever a mob dies, such as a zombie, near the Skulk Catalyst, it actually spreads the Skulk underneath it. And the amount is based on how much XP that zombie would have dropped. Wow. So, you know, the deep dark, it's kind of overgrown with all these skulk blocks, so that means that lots of mobs must have died there. Quite a lot, yes. <laughs> make it less scary. Oh, and as you can see here, when you mine some of the skulk blo blocks, you actually get enchanting points. Yes, and of course, if you still want to get some of the blocks for decoration or something, you can just use a silk touch. And then we have the Skulk Shrieker. <laughs> so when this block is activated, mm -hmm, it's going to give that really scary shriek sound that you hear, heard now. And it also gives this darkness effect, so it's like pulsating darkness. You can even see now when you're sneaking and you step on a Skulk sensor, even sneaking it will activate. But anyways, guys, that just about concludes today's video about some of the features we're going to get in the 1.19 Wild Update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If there are any features I missed in this video, then be sure to let me know in the comments section below as I will make a follow-up video on it. I mean, there is so much to cover in this update, so it's very possible I missed something. But yeah, thanks for watching once again. Like and subscribe if you want to see more 1.19 videos. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye!